The earthquake shook most of Morocco and caused injury and death in many provinces, including Marrakesh, Tarudont, and Chichawa. Seismologist Richard Walker from the University of Oxford says multiple factors made Morocco's Friday evening quake so deadly. It is an earthquake occurring in an area with a relatively large population, and especially a population where there's quite a lot of vulnerability in terms of the building types to earthquake shaking. And so uh, construction using you know, unreinforced masonry, the, the, the kind of more rural styles that, that sadly are, are not very strong when earthquakes hit. Also, it's an earthquake that's relatively shallow in the depth of its source. Um, so this means that it, uh, the earthquake waves have taken less distance to get to the surface. And so because of that, they have more energy within them, right? So, so a lot of things that add up towards making this such a disaster. One big thing as well is the fact that it occurred in the nighttime past 11 p.m. local time and people were at home they were asleep in buildings that would have been quite vulnerable to the shaking and so a lot of people would have become trapped within the rubble the epicenter was high in the atlas mountains about 74 kilometers south of marrakesh northern morocco experiences earthquakes more often including a tremor of magnitude 6.3 eight years ago all the seismic activity in the Euromed region from Portugal to Turkey is linked to the uh, plate, uh, uh, African plate moving northward to and uh, being uh, and colliding the Eurasian plate. The activity is much higher in Turkey, in Greece. In the West, it is less active. So the motion is typically a few millimeters a year. But of course, when you accumulate this over centuries, the, the shortening is significant. And that's why there is active seismicity in all these Atlas area. The United Nations estimates that 300,000 people were affected by Friday night's quake, made more dangerous by its relatively shallow depth.